going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring. Today brings us back to downtown Disney because a new store has opened. But we're just gonna kind of walk around downtown Disney and see what's new, see some new social distancing markers outside the actual parks. And that new shop is actually technically located in Disney's California Adventure. It's called the Backlot Premier Shop in stage 17. Now it is basically just like an extra Halloween merchandise shop but that is to get the crowds out of World of Disney on the weekends and on busy days. Today's not that busy of a day, but let's head down there first and check out the new Backlot Premier Shop. We're first going to hit the Star Wars Trading Post store that recently went up. It replaced the Wonderground Gallery temporarily, most likely, just to sell Star Wars Galaxy's Edge merchandise. But that's mainly what they have in this gift shop since guests can't get inside right now. Ah uh, yes, right off the bat, greeted with Baby Yoda shoulder plushes. I actually haven't seen these yet. Look at them. Which the baby, all oh, the small baby Yodas down here? No, they are cute. I think that they have those in Galaxy's Edge. Well, actually, I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in there. Then, of course, they got plenty of plush in here. All that we'd see from the creature stall and the Black Spire Outpost and other gift shops in the marketplace. Got Mr. Porg here, of course. I do like how they have a bunch of wall art up here. From the first order over here, some other assortments of a Galaxy's Edge wall art, like there's a Black Spire Outpost one. Droid Depot stuff. And they also got droids down here, not the customizable ones, but like BB-8 with the bags. Now a lot of the stuff that we're showcasing today may not be new to you guys, but it is new to us. As you guys know, we just got back from a week in Florida, so we haven't got a chance to see all this stuff. I'm walking my Walt Disney World shirt right there. So, yeah, we haven't been to Downtown Disney in a cool, like, two and a half weeks. That's why we haven't seen that Star Wars trading post quite yet. If you guys are new here, subscribe with those bell notifications on, because we're doing videos like this all the time when we're traveling a lot more, so you're not going to want to miss all the theme park content slash Disney content on this channel. Currently, there is absolutely no wait for World of Disney, but we'll hit this store after we hit the Premiere Shop. They had promotions all over the place. They really want people to know that this shop is open. I mean, they even have like these big signs right here as we approach the entrance of it. And they're scattered all throughout downtown Disney. I've seen at least eight coming over here. I like how even the social distancing markers fit the color scheme of the store's logo and such. Black and gold. We get to walk down the red carpet in to the backlot premiere shop. This is really neat. And here we are in the premiere shop. Like I said, lots of Halloween merchandise in here already. Now this one you can stand like so. Okay? I like how they have all the masks on one stand as opposed to in a world of Disney where you kind of had to just find them because they're all split up but here they have them all on just one display so it makes it easier to pick out which mask you want and I know I was showing you guys this earlier but I, I just love these projections so much they're so cool and they're always changing too at least the center one's always changing to something different over on the right side of the shop is all the Haunted Mansion stuff over on the left side is all the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff and in the middle is the Halloween merchandise the general Halloween merchandise Now this sign right here was from the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire show that they had a while back ago. I believe the last year was 2005 or 2004. So basically it wasn't like an actual taping of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire but it was like a little theme park game shows. Now I had seen somewhere that they're adding social distancing markers actually into the Esplanade. Now I don't see any over here on the DCA side. We'll walk over to the Disneyland side right now. But I don't know, I haven't seen any at all. Quick look into the park right now. There's no activity going on, but I do see hand sanitizers at the different gift shops and such. Right over there at the entrance. And then I also see signs with health and safety reminders. And of course, you guys already know, we've talked about it before, there's plexiglass all over the turnstiles. And even though the theme parks still don't have the approval to open, Josh Tomorrow, the 
one of the head guys in the Walt Disney Company has said that the theme parks are ready to open once they get the approval. And I can already see it. We've seen tons of prep work going on inside of the parks, online and everything. I just, I want to get back inside the theme parks so badly already. Man, it's weird being outside these gates, knowing that we're in like an actual theme park, literally a week and a half ago, a Disney theme park that was, multiple Disney theme parks. But here on the other side of the country, it's a completely different situation. Ah, I think that they're ready to open. I think that it's safe enough to open, especially with the guidelines that Florida has in play. We felt very safe there. I think that Disneyland and California Adventure are ready to open. We haven't seen the 65th anniversary years in a while. Are they still as bad quality, Savannah? Yeah. They still are? <laughs> Look at that. If you guys uh, have been watching our channel for a while, when these first came out, we found that there was literally none that were like properly glued on Those right. Are the best those are the best ones. Even those, look. They're still a little messed up. Yeah, so there's only a few of them here. And by the way, we didn't even have to wait to get into World of Disney. We just walked right in. Walked right through the queue, walked right in. I really like this retro collection that they have for Star Wars. I have not seen these at all, this collection in general, but I love that shirt. It is $29.99. Oh, that's cool too. Wow. I love this collection so much. This is great. I wanted to tell you guys, they didn't have every single piece of Halloween merchandise in the Backlot store. They had most of it, but not every single piece. If you're looking for every single piece of Halloween merchandise, World of Disney is your best bet. But if you already know what you're getting, then I recommend hitting the Backlot shop. I don't know if they've had this before, but they have this new style of plush. I love this stitch one. I've seen the Soli ones before, I'm pretty sure. Haven't seen the Spin ones. You don't like the Spin ones? Look at the Mike Wazowski ones down there. It looks so funny. <laughs> he looks so funny. And then they have even more over here. There's a Pooh one. There's Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps. Chip and Dale. Some of them look cute. Other ones just look weird. Like the Judy Hopps one looks really weird. Right now we're headed to the um, Marceline's confectionery. So I know that they have some Halloween themed treats. Not sure if we're gonna get one, but I'll show you guys the treats that they have to offer right now. I feel like Marceline's is one of those stores at Downtown Disney that always has a virtual like yeah, return yeah. time. Because before we hit the premiere shop, we came to get a, like put our name down to get a cast member to text us back when it's time for us to come in. And yet we still have to wait in line. So Marceline's is a very popular shop and rightfully so, it's the only like Disney themed dessert shop at Downtown Disney from what I believe. There are some of the Halloween treats. I don't know if that's all of them, but there are a majority of them that they have here to offer Marceline's. Which ones? The very bottom. The bottom? I think those are just marshmallows covered in fudge and the other one is a marshmallow covered in something. I don't know. Oh man, it smells amazing in here. I can't remember the last time I've been in this shop. Well, let me tell you, it smells wonderful. There's a better look at all of them. Oh no, the caramel apple's melting <laughs> at the very top. Look, it's it's falling all the way down there. At the top right there, it's melting. That was, remember that? Which one, the cookie? Yeah, yeah the cookie was not very good. And here they are on display over here. Here are the Halloween ones, at least. Now, we don't know how long this deal is going on for, but for the Chippendale and the um, the Goofy Company like chocolate and sour stuff, it's a buy one get one. So we got two of the Chippendale pretzels for the price of one. Really good deal on the confectionery. And then we also decided to get the candy corn cookie. We've had these shortbread cookies before. We usually try to taste them for every holiday, like we taste the Christmas one and the normal one. Oh yes, this looks good. And it's so nicely decorated too. I just got done with that cookie. Um, I don't really know how to compare it to the other ones because they're all kind of the same, just designed differently. No, this one was better. This one is better? You think this one this was one better? This one was better. Okay. I see, I don't really know how to rank them. Like, they all taste the same to me. Um, they're made out of the same flavor. They're just different color. I feel like this one was softer than all the other ones. Oh yeah, for sure. This one was way softer than most of them. 
So that was a plus. I like it though. It's a huge cookie. You definitely need three people to finish it because we still have about 60% of the cookie left and our stomachs are already full. But I think that was a good cookie and I like how it was designed. I haven't seen this one. It has a bunch of the villains on it with their names there. I really like this one. This one's cool. So my mistake, I couldn't see with the sun, but that pin has different like wordings on it, like evil, devious, diabolical, stuff like that. With the different villains, is a little hat or the top of their head on it. What is that one? Oh my God, Baymax. What is he holding, a heart? A lollipop. A lollipop? How cute. Here's a look at the newer limited edition Halloween ones. Trick or treat cuties. All right, Savannah has doing a, or is doing another mystery pin box. This one is a painted pumpkins. She's manifesting the orange bird this time. So let's see if she'll be two for two because she manifested Pasquel last time, Pascal. Gonna open this up and see which two we get. Nope, oh, there we open it. Let's see which one it is. Pull it out. Let's see. Oh this my goodness, is that the Duffy one? one? That's Duffy, right? I think that's what his name is, is Duffy. I think his name is Duffy. Oh, I think it's big in the overseas parks. So Savannah's happy with Duffy here. So even if she doesn't get the orange bird, she'll be happy. Let's see what we get on the second one though. <laughs> hey, manifesting an orange bird. Remember, you gotta manifest it. I can't. It's not gonna oh, be it. Oh my goodness, it's not gonna be it's it. Not... Well, our luck. Oh, yeah. so we got the Cheshire Cat last time on the last one too. <laughs> okay, I'll take the Cheshire Cat. We literally got... Well, you know what's funny is, like last time, we were like, oh, we want the Pascal, and we got a Cheshire Cat first, and then the Pascal, the one that you wanted. And even though you didn't want the Duffy one, at least we still got a cute one, plus the Cheshire Cat. Oh, gotta go grab that. But that's gonna do it for our trip here to downtown Disney today to see what's new. Quite a bit of stuff that we haven't seen yet. It was fun to get another mystery pack, check out the Halloween treats and the new Backlot Premiere store. I mean, it's cool. It's just something to kind of, like I said, get the crowds out of World of Disney, but it's nothing special or new. I get what they try to do, but I think it's cool. I think it's cool to go inside and be inside of California Adventure, like I said. If you guys are new here, subscribe with those bell notifications on. Check out all of our social media down below in the description. My name is Scott. You've been watching SoCal Exploring. Positivity is key. And most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out, everybody.